What's up guys, it's Nacho Dad. We at the Lowe's, and I just picked up the boards for my flatbed. But, got them on there, got a lot of looks from people at Lowe's, like, damn, you building this in the parking lot? And I'm like, yep. Cause that's what I do. It kinda starts. All right, to the house. All right, I started this video at the Lowe's. I picked up all my boards for the bed except for one because I got all the ones that didn't have knot holes in them. I'm using 2x8x8 two by eight by eight, and we're going to do an oil change on the truck real quick because I'm going to need that oil for something else. And then I've got my frame gloss coated. Just a quick little shot of spray paint make it look good. And then I'm trying this Krylon paint and primer spray paint all in one for the backboard here. It says it's for wood, for outdoor use. I don't know. We'll see. And then this is the frame. So I'm about to do a little over how I built the frame and how I'm going to do everything. And then back on the flatbed. Alright, so pretty much I just took 4x4s, but these aren't, these are 3x4s. And measured out how wide I wanted it. I wanted it 78 inches from side to side. So from outside of this rail to the outside of that rail, 78. So inch and a half each, 75. So I cut all my boards in the middle at 75. Oh no! <laughs> I spilled my stain. No. Nah. So that's pretty much it. And then I just lined them up on here where I wanted them. And I drilled holes and countersunk them into the boards. And then run carriage bolts down most of them. And just anchored those in. And then I've got some 2x12s. No, was going to do 2x12s. Instead got 2x8s by 8 foot. And I got the Harbor Freight Blowtorch. And we're doing some torching on them that's what they look like finished and we're going to stain all these give them a little bit of waterproofing and we're going to actually staining them with uh, used engine oil and diesel mixed together and it's actually the oil that I drained out of this truck this morning mm -hmm. so we're going to do some of this I'll do a little time lapse and I'll bring it back all right we're back we got the first coat of the homemade used engine oil and diesel mixture stain on the I like the color, it's not pretty. These boards are, they're not pressure treated, but they're like pallet treated, so they are slightly treated, so it doesn't want to soak up that well. And we just had a month of rain, pretty much. So, it's only been dry for a week, so they might not be dry all the way, but this is enough for at least to get it on there. Next, we're going to keep burning on these boards. Got a whole stack of them, we're going to try to get them oiled up and put on next. Alright, so we're back. We just did the... Uh, 50-50 mix of some old engine oil and some diesel. We've gone through and done all the supports and the, that are attached to the bed and soaked them down. We're going to keep coating them. And then we've gone down the side and I've hit it with my torch and charred it. And that's what it looks like charred. And then this is what it looks like with just a little bit of the oil stain on it. I think that looks great. They work beauty. It's, it's really beautiful compared to yeah, just plain wood. So we're going to finish that and then go do the other side and then start burning the boards for the top. Alright, so I'm going to try to film blowtorching this side. And this is the uh, $30 Harbor Freight electric ignition blowtorch. It does a pretty good job. And that's that's all I do. I just hit it with the torch real quick. I'm gonna grab my oil stain. So then what I'm putting on here is just uh, it's a 50/50 mix of diesel and used motor oil because this is untreated wood. So I got to put something on here, and I don't want to spend a lot of money. This is the $100 flatbed on the $500 pickup truck. Well, yeah, I went to Lowe's. I got a price on stain. I got a price on varnish. I did the math on pressure treated versus non-pressure treated and the big factor was I had a lot of this stuff here so it's not costing me any money 
all of these I had. They're 13 feet long, cut them down. They work great. And, you know, this isn't a long-term flatbed. I know it's not going to last 20 years, 30 years. But it'll last a year or two. And for $100, you can't be mad if it only lasts a year or two. I think if I keep the maintenance up, I can get a few years out of it. And this is all I'm going to do to it. I'm not going to put any sealers or anything on it. I'm just going to oil it. This is, uh, I think these sideboards are just regular yellow pine. So it's not a good wood to begin with, but it'll work. Take it off the stand. So that's what it looks like after it's burnt and got the first coat of oil on it. I love that. We're doing the sides. We've got the uh, boards up here. We've got to stain them. I'm still burning a few of them. But before I can get this side on, I got to come up with a way to fill up my gas tank because this is my fuel hose and there's no way to do it. So I got some plumbing parts, so I'm gonna go try and put all this together and I'll kind of show you as I go along what it is. It's a lot easier with my phone, but my phone's dead, so I'm doing it on the uh, camera. Right, so I got the flatbed almost finished now. I've still got to rip down a piece, burn it and stain it to put in the middle, but that's, that's my gap board. And then I decided to go ahead and put uh, these side rails on it, which are the three by fours same thing the frame underneath it's made out of and I just screwed them on and it's dark burnt and stained with the diesel motor oil and it's stained all the way around and then we got this big one in here so I've got a frontal stop and then I'm actually putting this on it up front so I'm gonna put that on up front real quick show you what that looks like all right so that gives me a little headache right kind of keeps things from being able to slide up and hit the front of the cab and then I've got some one inch steel tubing I'm gonna build a uh, cage all the way around and then put the uh, expanded metal in it so that the tops protected and I can put stuff across the top because there'll be a beam like right there but this will just keep anything from slamming into the back of the bed right now and give us something to push the uh, four-wheeler up against. So I'm going to screw this all together, and I'll come back when I'm doing the inside pieces. I just finished working on the flatbed. just want to do a little quick walk-around video on it. So this is what it looks like now that it's finished. I've got the side rails finished on it. I've got the last coat of the uh, homemade stain put on it. And then I built that headache rack up there today and stained all of it so this is just a little preview of what the finished product is going to look like for it. I'm in this thing about $150 in materials that's buying some of the wood you see and then all the fasteners all the screws the deck screws the carriage bolts the big bolts the lag bolts everything else that I needed to put it all together I didn't have to buy money on the spend money on the 4x4s or well the 3x4s like my side rails and these are also what my frames made out of I got those free off of a pallet for a air conditioner and they're treated like regular pallet boards but they're not like pressure treated so none of this is really treated it's just treated with a blend of 50% uh, diesel fuel and 50% used motor oil and it's actually the oil that came out of this truck Friday it looks so good for what it is I mean realistically you could build one of these and put it on your truck for probably 200 bucks 250 bucks Especially if you've got any salvage yards around or if you're good at finding good deals on stuff. Craigslist is awesome. But alright, that wraps up this video. I'm going to go put a chain on the mini bike and go rip it around for a little bit. We'll see y'all later.